Hi, I'm Michael Moynihan with Reason TV, and today we are talking with Sam L. Savage, the author of The Flaw of Averages, Why We Understand, Underestimate Risk in the Face of Uncertainty. What is the flaw of averages? Uh, it's a series of consistent mistakes we make by plugging single numbers into a model where there's really an uncertainty, like housing prices, you know, what are they going to be next year? Well, they've been going up 3 or 4%, 5% every year, so let's just assume they're going to keep going up. Mm -hmm. Consider a drunk wandering back and forth on a busy highway, you know, traffic whizzing back and forth. Suppose his average position is the center line of the highway. Mm -hmm. Then the drunk at his average position would be alive. But on average, he's dead. It's not a small effect. And instead of a wandering drunk, we've got wandering housing prices, we've got wandering demand for your new product, we've got wandering, you know, the duration of getting this task done in the project. All these things are uncertain. They're all wandering around. And if you nail them down at their average positions, then you get grossly uh, wrong results out the other end. Uh, explain this. This is the uh, flaw of averages. Uh, the uh, statistician crossing the river. Right. They a very classic example. Uh, I didn't make this up. Uh, you probably heard it in your statistics class somewhere. Uh, there's a statistician who drowns while crossing a river that is on average only three feet deep. Sure. I mean, it's like 12 feet in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and there really has been a growing body of work to solve these problems, starting with the Manhattan Project, uh, something called uh, Monte Carlo simulation. And it, in effect, bombards your model with a bunch of random inputs and monitors the output. I like to think of Monte Carlo simulation as analogous to shaking a ladder before you climb on it. Mm -hmm. I, I want to hasten to say, uh, I don't think that there's anything mathematically profound here. Perhaps it's on the cutting edge of the mundane. But, you know, like the paperclip, mm -hmm. simple idea, but so much better than mm -hmm. before you had a paperclip. Mm -hmm. uh, in the second chapter of the, or fourth, fourth chapter of the book, you, you say uh, that there are uh, seven deadly sins of averages, correct? Uh, we call them the seven deadly sins. Uh, at this point, there are 11 of them and counting. <laughs> yes. uh, we've decided to call them the seven deadly sins. It's a better ring, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just give us an example of what, uh, uh, what those sins are and why, why they're sins, why sure. we need to purge these. Sure, sure. Uh, the family with the one and a half children. Well, it's true. The average family does have one and a half children. But, you know, find me that family. Uh, planning for that family. Oh, OK, we're in, the, we're in the children's sock business. Let's see, one and a half children that takes three socks. So we'll sell socks in triples instead of pairs for that average family. Um, another one is, is the egg basket that comes from Benjamin Franklin. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. People really need to understand that, understand the consequences of diversification. They go on and on. And of course, there, there are now 11 of them. And the 12th deadly sin is assuming there are only 11, because yeah. pretty soon there will be yeah. more. Is there any context in which, in which uh, one comes out the other end thinking that there is no context in which these, these averages uh, are of any use? Is that a, wrong, is that, is that a oh, mistaken oh, presumption? Yeah, yes, it is. Um, with certain kinds of models, linear models, whatever the heck that means, yeah. you're allowed to plug averages in. But that's like, a little bit like saying, um, if a gun isn't loaded, you can look down its barrel. The problem is people don't know what linear means. And in fact, people can't tell whether guns are loaded or not. So you know, a really good idea is to not look down the barrel of a gun. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Sam L. Savage, uh, whose uh, fascinating new book, The Flaw of Averages, Why We Underestimate Risk in the Face of Uncertainty, is out now from Wiley. Uh, Sam, thanks for, for, for joining thank us. Thank you. Uh, for Reason TV, I'm Michael Moynihan.